So on this balance, we have uh, three passion fruits here, and we got a couple bananas. We've got 55 grams and a couple apples there, and we have this uh, equality here, where one passion fruit is going to balance two apples, or p equals two a. We have five strawberries. So there's no strawberries here, but there's five strawberries can balance one banana. So we have this balance, and, and again, make sure you're clear. We're not solving this. We just want to play with these properties of balance. So, and we can, in fact, we can't really solve this, to be quite honest. Okay, so, but the balance has, we, this is an algebraic expression for this balance. We have 3P plus 2B equals 55 grams plus 2A. So I want to to write a balance, another balance that's starting with this one. I want to make another balance using one of the five properties above. So property one and two was addition and subtraction. Two and three were, sorry, three and four were multiplication addition or multiplication division. Property five was equal replacement. And we want to use those properties to be able to come up with a new balance. And again, we're not solving this. So I'm going to give you an example here and I want you to not use the same example. You need to come up with your own. So I'm going to do this example as, okay, so I'm going to have th two passion fruits here. That's my three passion fruits. I've got my two bananas. Uh, i just do my bananas in black plus two bananas. And that's equal to my 55 grams and two apples. And what I'm going to do to this balance is I'm going to add, uh, I'm just going to do plus 10 and plus 10. Okay, so that's using my addition property. Okay, uh, now that's just kind of maybe a little bit too plain, so I'm going to change this up a bit. And I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to add uh, a watermelon. In fact, I'm going to add two watermelons to this side. And as I can keep it balanced by adding two watermelons to this side. So I could, although there's no watermelons anywhere here, as long as I add the same thing, I'm using that property of addition. If I add the same to both sides, I keep it balanced. And that's the idea. I'm not trying to solve this. I'm just trying to keep this balanced. So here I can maybe do, um, what can I take away here? I'm going to start with, again, with my three passion fruits here. Three passion fruits plus two bananas. equals 55 grams plus two apples okay uh, I, I don't really have an equivalent thing I can take away unless I use property five so I'm just gonna just randomly say I'm just gonna take away I'm gonna subtract uh, 10 from this side and I'm gonna subtract 10 from this side and say it's balanced yeah now that's kind of a lame example but that's good enough. That shows me the subtraction property of this balance. Okay, subtract the same from both sides. It stays balanced. For the multiplication part of this, well, I can double this. I can times by 2 and, and six get 6p. Okay, you get 4 bananas, and you're not allowed to use this one. So you have to come up with something totally different. Okay, you're not allowed to use my examples but come up with something totally different. I'm going to multiply everything by two. I'm going to just double everything. And I'm going to say that it stays balanced as long as I double every single part of this balance. Six passion fruit, four bananas, four apples, 110 grams. So dividing is the same. I can take, I'm just going to divide it by, oh, I'm just going to take, half of what I have here. I'm going to cut that passion fruit in half and I'm going to have one and a half passion fruits. I'm just going to have one banana on this side. I'm going to have 27.5 grams plus instead of two apples I'm going to just take one apple. Okay so again you can't use that example but you get the idea. So property five is an equivalent replacement. And this is where maybe I can use my strawberries because I know that five strawberries equals one banana. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, again, start with my three passion fruit. 
and my two bananas. But I'm going to replace one of my bananas with five strawberries. And I'm going to claim that if I, as long as I don't change the other side, I'm going to claim that this is going to stay balanced. Okay, so there are going to be lots of examples of this. So I want you to show me your own examples here, and I want you to use equivalent replacement to show property five. So property five is going to be three of those. You need to show equivalent replacement. There's various solutions for this. Come up with your own. But the only rule is balance. As long as you keep it balanced, you can do whatever you want.